This is the CSU Pueblo University Library Quick Class on how to search online. So why is this worth knowing? Well, searching is a skill learned over time. We think it's the sort of thing we know automatically, but it actually takes practice. The good news is that most online search tools work in the same way, so once you know how to search, it'll help you save time in a lot of different contexts. We'll start by talking about just basic web search tools. When you're using these, it's pretty rare that you would ask the questions like, what should I type in the box? What is that going to find? And what if the results aren't good? When you're using library databases, it helps to start considering these questions. Again, these tools work in very similar ways, so getting better at using one will also make you better at using the other. It's important to consider two concepts. First, the words that you're using in the search are going to change the results that you get. Secondly, there's more to conducting a good search than just picking the right words. When discussing this first concept, we refer to keywords. For the second concept, we'll be talking about limiters. When it comes to picking keywords, we usually start with our topic but it's helpful to think about our topic existing on a continuum. You could get more specific with your keywords, or you could be broader. The more specific you get, the fewer results you'll receive. So if your initial search finds a lot of stuff, you might want to use a more specific keyword. Likewise, if you use a broader keyword, you'll get more results. If you've run your initial search and you're not finding anything helpful, try backing up and using a broader topic. As for limiters, these are available in a variety of online search tools to help you limit the kinds of results you're going to see. Common limiters include file type, the source that's producing it, the date when the source was created, as well as something called phrase searching. With phrase searching, putting several words in quotation marks will only find results that have those words in that exact order. Different search tools have different limiters, so it's worth investigating what's available when you're doing your search. This has been a very quick introduction on how to search online. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, feel free to ask a librarian.